Hello, welcome to my tutoring channel. My name is Mr. Pena, and I teach people like you, students, how to master the English language. If you want more help and you want to learn more, today we're doing a video on grammar, how to combine sentences with nouns. Um, but before we begin, I want to offer you something for free. It's my 10-day grammar manual. If you join my Patreon using the link down below, you'll get free access to my grammar guide. You can download it for free. You'll also get exclusive content. These are videos that I only share with my patrons on Patreon. Lastly, if you join the link, if you click on the link and join my Patreon today, free, you can also um, be added to my WhatsApp group, which is an English language community of students who practice their English with me on a daily basis. It's more personal than YouTube. We have community calls, text and audio messages, and I send little inspirational quotes. You can also ask me questions and I send little audio messages to answer. I hope to see you in the community. Now let's get started on today's lesson. Combining sentences with nouns. It says, read the sentences. Combine the underlying nouns using the word and. Using the word and. Then write a new sentence on the line. Be sure to check for words that may become plural. So let's do this. Number one says, Maria is a good cook. It also says, Emilio is a good cook. So we're simply going to combine Maria and Emilio are good cooks. That's it. Maria and Emilio are good cooks. So we're not going to use the word is, we're going to use the word are. We're also adding an ES in order to make it plural. Remember, if you want to make something plural, you got to add an S or an ES. That's one of the ways to make something plural. Maria and Emilio are good cooks. Number two, a butterfly is on the flower. A bee is on the flower. How do we combine them? First of all, we're highlighting the words that repeat. And so we see that the word flower repeats multiple times. We don't have to write it over and over again. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to write this, a butterfly and bee are on the flower. And we're good. A butterfly and bee are on the flower. So we don't need to write anything else. We don't need to make anything plural. So that's that. We also added the word and. See what I did? When you write the word and, it is equivalent to the word e. Like Maria e Emilio, or mi esposa e, and so on and so forth. Number three, parents laugh at the clowns. Children laugh at the clowns. So our repeated word is clowns, clowns. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to combine both sentences and say parents and children. Parents and children laugh at the clown. Because <laughs> it's true. Parents and children laugh at the clowns. And so remember, we 
we added the word and right here. Poor clowns. Notice how we added S at the end of clowns. Well, it was already plural. But anyways, that's that. Now we move on to number four. Dogs have soft fur. Cats have soft fur. So what do we write? We're going to write that dogs and cats have soft fur. Because they do. <laughs> dogs and cats have soft fur. You can actually say that they both have soft fur. But these are the words that we're combining. Have soft fur. Have soft fur. We only need to say it once. And include the word and as well. We're going to include the word and in order to combine these nouns. Remember, these are all nouns. So here are some examples of nouns that we are using in the sentence. Maria is a noun. And Emilio is a noun. We also have butterflies. We have bees. We have flower. These are all examples of nouns. We also have clowns. There are more nouns to come. Do I have any more? Yes. We're combining nouns such as cats and dogs. So let's, um, we're done with number four. Now let's go to number five. The class drew a mural. The class drew a poster. Guess what we're going to do? The class drew a mural and a poster. The class drew a mural and a poster. We're simply combining them. And our last sentence, pause the video. I hope you were doing those with the videos before, but go ahead and pause it and then try to answer it on your own. So it says number six, I'd like to learn about science. I'd like to learn about history. So you are simply going to write, I like to learn about science and history. It's as simple as that. I like to learn about science and history. Thank you for joining me. I hope that this lesson explained was explained clearly. I hope you understood what we were learning. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments below. Write your question or write your comment, and I'll be happy to respond as soon as possible. Good luck with your English. Remember, if you join my Patreon, you can download the English manual and join the WhatsApp group for free where we practice our English. So when you go to the Patreon, I, I, you should look for what is called the collections. And there you'll be able to find the link to the WhatsApp group. One more thing. Through the Patreon, in the next couple of weeks, I'll be announcing classes that I'm going to be offering. So if you join the Patreon for free, you'll get those resources. And then if you want to continue further, I will be offering coaching or tutoring for those who want to practice their English. I hope to see you soon. Take care, goodbye, and good luck with your English.